Admiral. Lieutenant Hoshi suits me just fine, sir. Admiral Stars turned out to be a little heavy. Happiest day of my life when I saw that raptor jump into the rendezvous point. Well, there you have it, Admiral. The most advanced civilization we could locate on this planet. We can't see them talking to each other, sir. So either they communicate a different way or they're pre-verbal. Judging by the look of their tools, which are rudimentary to say the least, I'd suggest that we've found an early ritualistic tribal society. They bury their dead. I came across a grave a couple of clicks back and ran some tests. Their DNA is compatible with ours. Meaning we can breed with them. You got a one-track mind, Doc. What? Listen, I'm talking about the survival of the human race, actually. Not some get-together with the natives. You also have no sense of humor. <laughs> right. Right, I'm sorry. How's that possible? Human beings naturally evolved on a planet one million light years away. The odds against that are... Astronomical, yeah. One might even say there was a divine hand at work. Well... Whoever's responsible, we're here. And here's where we're gonna stay. With our new families. My vote is that we clear everything back to this ridge. It's easy access to the water down by the river. In fact, the whole area is ready for cultivation. And we should be able to lay out the preliminary lines for a city within a day or two. No. No city. Not this time. What do you propose we do? We break the cycle. We leave it all behind and start over. You're talking about a little over 38,000 people, the entire human race, with nothing but the clothes on their backs and some provisions. It's not the entire human race. There are people already here. Tribal, without language even. Well, we can give them that. I mean, we can give them the the best part of ourselves. But not the baggage, not the ships, the equipment, the technology, the weapons. If there's one thing that we should have learned, it's that, you know, our brains have always outraced our hearts. Our science charges ahead, our souls lag behind. Let's start anew. We'll land civilians at various points around the planet. Our objective will be to spread the people out as much as possible to give them the best possibility of survival. Supplies will be evenly distributed throughout the camps and locations will be documented and given to everyone. I have to say I'm shocked at how amenable everyone is to this notion. I would have thought to be general uprising at the idea of losing whatever little creature comforts we had left. Don't underestimate the desire for a clean slate, Mr. Lampkin. Have you made a decision? The sixes, the eights, and the twos have decided to stay. 
See how we can contribute to the world before we pass into God's hands. We'll give the base ship to the Centurions, let them find their own destiny. I think they've earned their freedom. And what if they evolve again on their own, and decide to come back in a few hundred years and wipe us out? It's a risk, but I think setting them free may be enough to break the cycle of violence. It's a risk worth taking. I agree. They've earned it. Now, once the civilians have been offloaded, the fleet will leave the orbit and rendezvous with Galactica. The course of the fleet will be plotted into the nav computer ahead of time, but the actual piloting will be done by Mr. Anders. He'll guide the entire fleet directly into the sun. 